So, so we've got something a little bit different here. The uh, Team Herman has actually got two pieces of equipment that can run uh, run bales, stacking them and everything. However, they've got only one tractor, I think, that's going to be able to run that baler, at least efficiently. Oh, Ooh. I mean, we're going to see. This, these are two very different approaches already. Yeah, and you can see that Bettner is more or less going for the tactic that we've seen so far from the other four teams. Yeah. And Herman is like, it's like the odd one out. <laughs> They've done this all the time. And sometimes they're doing weird stuff like they completely ignore bales. Uh, not bales, oh. they completely ignore drops. Like they might as well not be a game element. And like, it's really strange sometimes watching them because you think like, are you ignoring these? And that's losing you the game, you know that. And, and then sometimes it's just, it works and it's really weird and I love it. Like, Herman is a fantastic team to watch because you don't know what's going to happen. Like, they're fantastic. I love them. So this is definitely going to be much different than the rounds that we've seen before. If you have been sitting back, you better sit forward. So this is going to be good. Yeah. And there's Nate. I love him. Already got and he al three he already bails. Killed it up. Like, he, he's like, yeah, uh, one <laughs> first bail? No, no time three at all. first bail. Like, technically, actually, the thing, um, you can't really do the thing with the big bailer to drive properly underneath the conveyor, I think, because uh, it might be too big. Ooh, so let's see who's going to get this first bail. But in the end, I think also Herman is like, yeah, we don't care. We, we do our thing, and this is going to win us. <laughs> like, they're very chill. 123, that's Ooh. okay. Oh, oh, oh no! Stuck. Oh, of course. Oh, it's that's going kinda... up! Yeah, I mean, actually they, it, him. it going up actually helps, yeah. Oh, man. That. But, yeah, Nate, not not a happy camper here. Will it fit? Nope, yep. Here you go. They're going to unload. Okay, so he played it smart. He's saving those two bells for later. Yeah, like it doesn't make sense for you to uh, drop as many bills in the beginning as possible. And there we go into the replay, seeing where he got. Yeah, he oh. took that. <laughs> he took that curve very, very badly. And like, yep. not gonna lie, I don't like approaching this bridge like that because it happens to me all the time myself. Uh, a professional would call that crash counter plus one. Yeah. So, yeah, two very different approaches already. So, yeah, Ooh. like F Felden said it right, Herman switching it up here. This is what they do. They're doing it really well. I'm very happy about that. Oh, we missed it. Yeah. There he goes. And those weeds in that patch definitely slowing them down. Yeah, this is why you kind of, like, often you want, uh, uh, you want a harvester that has, uh, uh, that, that can deal with the weed somehow but the thing is just the rustle mush like going dedicatedly for the rustle mush and making sure that the other team doesn't get it doesn't make sense because it's not that strong unfortunately like if you get into into, into the unfortunate situation that you only have one harvester and it's the rustle mush you might as well not play so speed up and bell multiplier yeah bell multiplier not very strong if it's uh in this first uh drop the speed up you can take it. Like, these aren't drops where I would really, like, I wouldn't drive out to get them. Not gonna lie. I think these <laughs> kind of suck. Uh, it happens. It's part of the game to go, hey, sometimes you don't want to go for these. Because it's another tactical decision that you have to make. Now, if you, let's say you were already driving past both of them, would you stop and get one, or would you just let them go? Uh, depends. Uh, if I drive past them, yeah, I can grab them. So, uh, definitely would get it. Would get it then. Um, but it also depends a little bit. Like, if it's one of the speed ones, I no. wouldn't really like go for it gotcha um, now if there was one that you could choose to have every single time you're like yo every time i'm getting this one what is it oh my god <laughs> like not gonna lie my favorite is direct delivery like in general but i wouldn't pick it all the time because sometimes it doesn't really you don't really need it uh, in the uh, uh second drop like um in the first drop if direct delivery happens i would want to have it 
but honestly, because I'm a bit of a prick, um, <laughs> bridges raised. We haven't seen that one today yet. So that raises all the bridges, correct? Of the opposing team. Of the only. opposing team. So you've still got X, X you, <laughs> you still got a way in. However, that's all the way around. Yeah. Um, it, it's great. Like it's a very lovely sabotage one. Um, especially like if, if we're talking about the eight minute drop where when it happens, and uh, the enemy team then tries to. Um, Go and deliver a lot of stuff to the to the barn, and you basically create a bottleneck. So this is a uh, very interesting because both of the teams, one team's got more grain than the other, the other team's got more bells than the other. Yeah. I mean, look at that, fifty. I mean, fifty-three thousand liters, thirteen, fourteen thousand liters more grain. Uh, multiplier still tied at two. No one's delivered anything yet. It doesn't seem. No, uh, uh, we haven't yet seen a great drop at all. Which, and we're nine yeah. minutes, you know, nine minutes left. We've, we're already six minutes through. It's, yeah. They're working a lot in the fields, but not really producing anything. I mean, Herman otherwise. produces bales like crazy. Like yeah, they got 15 they got, bales. Yeah, they got 15 bales. <laughs> they got a few. And two of those are already down at the uh, barn. Yeah, like... Herman, uh, Her Herman is, I think, bailing with two people. Like, there is Nate. No, they're not. They're just having the Krona. So, Betnas, Hyper here now, getting ready to unload. Yeah, doing that tactic again. So they're getting all of their grain in one spot. They're gonna hit them with a, a uh, almost a grain rush. Yeah, it's a uh, big. In order to capitalize on that, yeah. They've done, a, I don't know, say more grain than anybody else has in the competition so far. Yeah, 60,000 I mean, liters is that's a lot. crazy. Like, in seven seconds, like, they're banking on grain multiplier happen Oop. happening now. Here, here because we go. if Oop. now the grain multiplier drops, bridges and raised, it's not, it's silo silos? close. This is this can go oh. very, very bad. But it's bridges Ooh. raised. Oh, but I think Bettner I would... is like, Chosse making the right call here. Offloading yeah. it, and they picked silo closed for the enemy team, so they can't do anything about. It. But the problem is, like, I wouldn't pick silo closed this early. I would wait until I see that the enemy team is on their way to unload, and then I would pick silo closed because same principle with bridges raised. I want to screw with the other team. Well, at least the good thing is now, uh, Team Betnar, they've got a 2.4, so now's a good time to go ahead and start selling some bells if you got some. Yeah. I mean, Herman hasn't yet picked Silo Close, so Betnar could still offload. And, like, by tradition, I have not seen Herman pick uh, uh, any kind of drop. Like, it's super rare. It's like... Like, if you know, do you know these flowers that are like, I bloom once a year? That's like Herman picking super drops. <laughs> uh, or any kind of drop. Here we go. Okay, so Team Betnar is taking advantage, but uh, they don't. <laughs> and and, there you and go. Herman is like. They're dropping all the bales. They're getting ready. Uh, we're, we're more than halfway through this round already. It's. Like, like I said, Herman does weird stuff. Like, you're sitting there and you're like, come on, what are you doing? And they're they're still harvesting. It's uh, time to make some bales and get some stuff sold, I think. But <laughs> this could be a totally different, uh, totally different setup than we're used to seeing. As you say, they are very different. Ooh, we lost a bale. Ah, oh, that happens to the best of us. Mostly to the worst of us, though. <laughs> and here Bednar is taking advantage of this. Their uh, their belt seems to be going very slow. Yeah, they have to hire multiplier and unstoppable by Herman. So, you know, 40% slower belt. Ooh. And, you know, they feel that. 
Yeah, they have the higher multiplier, but like here's the thing: if you if you want to play with a low multiplier and a fast belt, then you need to overproduce bales. Like that's the important part now uh, for Herman. But the thing is, I don't really see them being able to do that. There, there is not a lot of ways to really increase the speed of uh, your bailer, um, aside from having two uh, mm. players bail the whole time. Yeah, that wasn't good. Oh boy. Yeah, Flo is like, let's let's stack this really neatly. <laughs> Triple stack. Yay. And then look at this, backing it up just to make them nice and neat and tidy. <laughs> Has the time. Very Has lovely. The time. Very lovely. Um, no idea if it's going to win the game, but uh, we'll see. I am very curious. Um, so, Hyper here coming in with the three bells, and we have six cents going off for the super drop. And here we go. Time to sell. 10 seconds for the super drop to go. And they're up as well. So they, oh, four! Quad stack! Uh, I think two of these are going to fall off, if not all four. I hope not, that's awesome. Ooh, is that actually oh, going? Oh my God! You! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> and we have oh. a bottom boost, so that could be really, really good. Oh, really good is... for Bednar, who are currently dropping grain like it's hot. Yeah, Chosse is like, okay, it's time. Look at that! Mmm, oh. that was fantastic. <laughs> so that was oh. a combo for Herman. So they're doing pretty good right now because Bednar lets them. Oh, now that is what I'm talking about right there. And again, like it Herman worked. delivering four of these at the same time. What the hell? I've never seen anything like that. It's the championships. You got to put it all on the line. Do H six. H Herman being Do here. Six. <laughs> Herman being here like, yeah, we, we, we don't play by these tactics. These other people play. We have our own tactics. We're playing Ooh. our own game here. And you know what? Good on them. Good on them. How much do you think he practiced that at home? Goodness gracious. A lot. So there's also something super interesting to know that guys fr who play with Team Herman, they're actually employees of Herman. Oh, wow. They're one of the uh, brand teams, basically, where um, like we, we had a few brand teams in the past, like Amazone, for example, and uh, Klaas, I think, was one too. Uh -huh. Where it was like, hey, um, yeah, you, you, w our teams are going to be made up from people who are working for the company. Not everyone mm -hmm. does that. So now with the multiplier where it is, we've got Team Batnar who has 17 bells still on the field. Um, however, man, uh, I, I don't know if they're going to be able to catch up that fast or not. Team Herman just got. <sighs> Such a big lead with those quad cells. Yeah, Bednar is a vicious team. Like, um, if in the in 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 the second season, we had it a lot of times where they would go on the field and just throw like leaf blow the uh, their opponents away, and it's it's kind of weird seeing them not having this uh, viciousness anymore. And they they haven't had a bad game either. No, they're they playing played really well. good. It's just whatever <laughs> the hell Herman, Herman is doing, Herman uh, it works. Play. Let's go. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I would be like, which game are they playing? Like Herman is clearly not playing Farming Simulator League. Like they're on another dimension here. <sighs> like, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's, <laughs> Come on, being here like, oh, transport company is meta. Yeah, who cares? We take whatever we want. And they're winning. Oh, I mean, man. 40 seconds to go. It still can change, you know? It's very close. Like, another load of bales comes for Bednar, so. But I they think... don't have. 
Any that well, they've got some. Uh... No, time. That's... Time is now the problem. Like, yeah, yeah Herman only has two bills left, but they're also really in the lead. Like, All right, um, so I don't think fourteen. That's one hundred and forty. Yeah, you sell it at the bottom. Yeah. Have to. But it's just not enough. No, it's not. Like, they can't create the combo, and well, that first game was amazing. Weird, Ooh. amazing. I love it. This was great. Herman is is, is like this. Yeah, Herman, 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 Herman. Round two between Herman and Bednar. <clears throat> yeah. Is this, is this gonna be the last one? They have to win. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. And they're out and on the racetrack. I want to see some love for your teams in chat now. They need that. Put them away. Channel this energy. Show <laughs> them that you love them. Ooh, two two players from Hortman going for the same thing. Yeah. But. All right, so we got the Massey Ferguson out there. Mm hmm. Good to see. We're going to start right away. And then we've got and... two ideals on Bednar. Yeah, it's really good. Like, having two ideals is already, like, a nice feeling. Like, they're very pretty in the black. Like, do you think ideal should make a variant of this one with black, with red highlights? You know, gaming edition? Uh, Powered by G Fuel. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Tell them DJ <laughs> sent you. Um, Sponsored by DJ Gohan. Man, I wish. That'd be super cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, two ideals, if you have an option, I mean, the ideal harvester is the one that you want to get. One ideal is ideal. Two ideals is idealer. <laughs> idealer. There you go. All right. So it <laughs> no! looks like, oh, we Whoa. got it. No, we oh. got shut down. Yeah, this is the first time that we see that the bridges are synchronized between both teams. So if one drives over a bridge, then the bridge will go up for both teams. After a while, it will go down again. So that's why Nate had to put on the brakes there for a moment. And Nate again with the three bails. Like again, Herman is like playing Ooh. a completely different game and they seem to be fine with it. 104, that's a very low, uh, very low for first bail. Yeah, I mean, 124 Bednar is also more in the low part, but yeah. In the end, the important thing with the first bail is always the comparison to the other team, more than getting the highest score possible. I mean, yeah. of course, you want to have the highest score possible, so mm -hmm. the enemy team has uh, more difficulties getting back to it. So Ventil, now, yeah, he's going for the horse. Man. It's crazy. We're already two and a half minutes into this. Time is flying. That's amazing. Hooked up, ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, grain-wise, it looks like Team Bednar's got about a thousand, two thousand liters more. Or, but uh, really a thousand liters is difference. nothing. Yeah, this is very close. Plus, with three versus two bales, uh, they are very, very close right now. Yeah. Getting a lot of harvesting done. Nathan not making a clean first delivery. Name a more iconic dude. Like, yeah, yeah, you are right. But here's the thing. Hellman doesn't care. Like, seriously. This is the thing that just makes me go absolutely apeshit here. Is Hellman is here, like, making things that are genuinely not good plays. And still does well. It's like, so her herbicide oof. and bell drop. Which one would you go for here? Uh, honestly, oh. <laughs> I would have gone for the bell drop. Like in as, as in, in theory, in theory, the bell, the herbicide is really good because you could clear out some areas of the field with that. Um. But, like, Bail Drop is straight up, you get one, or if you're really bad, uh, in a bad situation, you're getting two bills. Like, rarely. Haven't really seen it happen yet. Herbicide, you need to bring the harvest then over to a wheat spot. Otherwise, there's no use for it. And worst case is, you harvest right when you're in a wheat spot, slowing you down. 
though herbicide has a lot of extra variables that might mean that you can't really make use of it. So I'd go for bail drop in that situation. Absolutely. And yeah, but, like that's why you it see. Was, it was yeah. right in front of their, uh, right in front of them too. Ooh, he yeah. went past it. I, I think that was intentional. Like that, he didn't look like he broke. Uh, he broke. That's like true. yeah, when Teal is here, he brings it in position because they are now filling up the harvesters. Like they offload the harvester, the first harvester, and now both go harvest, mm -hmm. and then they bring the harvesters back to the silo. Yeah. And get ready. Like they are getting ready for minute eight for the second drop. Because if there's grain multiplier to be had, they want that. And they're gonna dump it quick. They got forty-five thousand liters. They got ten thousand yeah. more liters of grain. Yeah. Like here's the thing. Um one drop can't happen twice in the game. It would be different if we now had the grain drop happen in the first drop. Then they, we might see both teams try and go for uh, a grain drop, like, right now. But that hasn't happened, so it can still happen that the grain multiplier comes in the second drop. And this is what I think Bednar is now banking on. Well, either way, they've set themselves up for success, for sure. Yeah, I mean, 50,000 liters is, uh, is a word. <laughs> it's, it's, it oh, wow. really is a, hey, um... It, what you gonna do about it? Yeah, I mean they banked over sixty thousand liters in the first round, so they've definitely shown that they can get yeah. it done and fairly quickly. Sixty thousand liters is kind of the norm what a lot of teams go for because that's too harsh. Like that's gotcha. exactly how much you can fit into a horse titan. Gotcha. Uh, well, in into two, like one can hold thirty thousand yeah. liters, and yeah. Like, filling it up again just is not feasible. I think you can do it, but it's just not feasible. Got a little jump right there. Going to lose anything? Nope. No. Nope. The jump no. is good. With, with three bales, really hard to do. All right. Like, and now we know why Flo is so meticulous with bringing these bales into position like that. He's like, he wants to pick up four at a time and then deliver them. Because that's what Herman do. Here, Chelsea fills up the ideal one last time. Swinging around, got three more bales waiting on him. So, do right. you think that's why they've gone for that specific baler? Because they know they can pick up. Uh, ooh, here we go. Speed up and silo close. No grain multiplier, unfortunately. So yep. that means that somebody from Betna is likely going uh, to the silo. I see that somebody yep. is there. Yeah, it's already going go. up. <laughs> yeah. All right. They're going for speed up. Yeah, it's a very universal pick if you don't want to go exact explicitly for um, silo close. But here's the thing. That's Herman who picked that up. Is today a holiday? Herman picking up drops? What's wrong here? <laughs> well, they were there, so might as well. It's amazing. Like, genuinely so, flabbergasted here. One thing I've seen is uh, competitors rocking whenever yeah. they're in their combines. Is there a reason for this? Yes. Uh, makes the overloading go blue. Like, literally, it is a game mechanic <laughs> that a moving vehicle overloads faster or unloads faster. Oh. And that is why you will see them rocking back and forth or just genuinely driving very slowly over the drop-off point uh, in case of the big hole, which we haven't seen in, like, a few months because it's sadly not meta anymore. Well, there you go. And more and more stacking. Yeah, flow making it really neat. Be like, la la la. They're going to back I into it like they did the first round? Like, he, he might as well give oh. it a pat. No, he, he gives it a bump, <laughs> but I want him to give it all a pat with the fork. And be like, ah, now this is very neat and tidy. <laughs> uh, whereas we have Bedno right here who is using Transport Company. Yeah, they don't need to do that. They have automation for this. Yeah. But it does make you wonder which one is faster overall. Okay. Um, 
Here we go. I think overall you are faster with transport company. Uh, but you need to have the bales for it in a, in a specific pattern. It needs a... Um, like, you, you need to have it set up so that basically you go from the shed where the Anderson stands in to the silo, uh, to the barn island, to one of the bridges, or bridge access at least. Uh, you need to have a full open row with just bales. And that needs setting up. Right. Wish I could have watched live from the start, but being in US Pacific is not conductive to that. I mean, after yeah. JCOM, what? It's like what? 3 a.m. for you? No, I mean it's it's good now. We're it's 6:19. I've only been up for you know four plus hours. <laughs> My yeah. alarm went up at 2 a.m. this, this morning. This is fine. And I just I just yelled no. <laughs> no, but really, thank you very much for like last minute jumping in. Um, like I said, we had like Kermit couldn't make it. Uh, yeah. Virtual Farmer. Virtual Farmer couldn't make it. And, um, yeah, like, what? but, well, as I always say, the answer is yes. <laughs> I just may not be happy. Even, even to your own detriment. <laughs> and like, I will, I will personally make sure we never abuse that for you. Oh, I mean, come on. Like, oh yeah, I know no. it's a late minute, no, but no, can no, you no, come no, no, and no. help we're never us going the, to be the like world me. championship? No, we're not going to. We're not going to do unsavory things like uh, make you wear uh, embarrassing costumes or something. Yeah, I'll volunteer myself You do myself that on your own <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. You put on the cat gear ears now. I don't have any. I'm gonna send you some. No. Okay, I'll put them on. There. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the cat ears, DJ. <laughs> well, then I'll just look like PewDiePie or somebody. Oh God, no. <laughs> okay, right, no, so no, no cat ears. You get wolf ears then. Very good. I'll, I'll say that's more fitting. So we've got three and a half minutes left. And we have um, 168 versus 237. Yep. Um, and, well, Bednar's got less bells on the field. Um, green's about even right now. Uh, however, it looks like ben, or, uh, Herman is trying to get those sold as best they can. Well, they're having a devil of a time getting bales actually stacked and up there. Yeah, Flo is currently not doing the four bale stacking thing for some reason. It's a little bit weird. And Herm uh, and Bettner is like, yo, we still got this full harvester. Time to, you know, ruin your whole day, Herman. So oh, not too much, though. And you see uh, Unstoppable in action here. Like, Herman's belt goes <laughs> All right, got a good chance right here to go for four. Are we gonna see it? Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, oh stuck a little bit. Mm, bring that load on that belt. This is gonna be good. He did this in the first round, if you guys haven't seen like, it. Yeah, we, like, yeah. Oh, is it gonna work? Flo being like the genuine Lord Baylor here. Oh, oh, oh that nearly fell off and then it still went in. What a champ, what wow. a champ. And T. Bednar is... Bet Bednar is shoving them all down the back. I mean, I don't know if that's a good idea because, like, you could have left it there and have mm -hmm. it loaded up and get the 10 extra points. It's definitely a sign of desperation just trying to get points as quick as possible. Ooh, this is going to be... No, I don't, I don't know if this is going to be as close. I think it's super close. Oh man, this is gonna be really, really good. And he's coming down on the wire. We got 90 seconds left. 470, 257, and still, Bednar is here taking bales. And oh, he did a kickflip. He lost it. They're having just an awful time with bales. Like it's really it? weird, Bednar. You you can do this. You, you're like fierce. All that work for 10 points. Like, okay, I get it when Ventil does it because he is the Valtra and, uh, you know, it doesn't have a fork. But, like, guys, come on. It's, they're, I mean, they've, they've got a full trailer right there. They're pushing in. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. Like, I 
Yeah, I mean, they get the combo. And they're getting closer. But Bednar is still in the lead. And it's one minute to go. And, and the worst part... Uh, uh, Be Herman is still in the lead. <laughs> Bednar only has five bells left. Even on their best day, that's not enough to even tie it. Yeah, it's like... So this, ga this game is virtually over. It is. Uh, it's really unfortunate to say that because, like... Petnar is like fantastic team. Oh. So it didn't quite come down to the exciting wire as a few of the others have, but um, it, it is exciting know. in another way. It is exciting in the way that, like, hey, um, here's Herman, a very oddball team. Um, Doing oddball things, winning with it, and I always like to see that. N not as strong and weird a game as the first one, but wow. Like, all bails got delivered, Herman getting that one extra bail down. 